Okay, so if you use the surgical guide software, this is going to be pretty easy for you. Okay, right now it's already highlighted to draw the curve. To draw the curve, we're going to hold the shift button on our keyboard. Notice that when I press the shift button, my arrow turns into a crosshair. Now I'm going to draw this line and I like to go right over the gingival aspect of the bracket. You don't have to drag across the entire thing. You can just go right across the tooth. You don't, the wire, the, the curve line will automatically connect to each other. I find this easy to do it this way. And where you position this line is all user preference, okay? Now I'm just showing you where I like to put it. On the lingual is pretty, this doesn't really matter. Do whatever you want with it. And it automatically connected these two, all right? So that's it, I've drawn this one. Now let's go to the mandible. And draw, draw. I like to go at the very bottom of the bracket because that way the bottom of the bracket is sort of exposed, sticking right out the bottom of the tray. And I just find that to be easiest because you can remove excess cement and it's easiest to, tr to slide the tray off. And it's generally more than adequately retentive of the, the brackets themselves. So... I think it's easier. Stay close to the teeth if you can. I think that is um, the best approach. And I'm just gonna grab this node and drag it right on top of that one. And it will merge the two lines. If they didn't connect automatically for you, that's how you do that. I can move these little nodes around one at a time if I don't like the position. If I say, you know what, I went a little too gingival or apical on there, move them up, whatever. No perf there is no perfect position. And so now I can continue to export. At this point, it's going to run calculations, trying to, uh, or not trying, but cr designing the actual tray. This is a little bit of a time um, intense process as it's making this creation. So uh, grab a cup of coffee.